So in this video, I am going to provide a few numerical examples looking at perfect price discrimination, which is sometimes known as first degree price discrimination. Perfect price discrimination is the act of charging every customer his or her maximum willingness to pay. So let's suppose that a firm faces an inverse demand curve of price equals 120 minus 2Q. P is the price per unit. Q represents number of units. The firm has a cost structure given by MC marginal cost equals 4Q. What we want to find here is the amount of producer surplus that this perfectly price discriminating monopolist can obtain. What I'd like to do is illustrate this with a graph. I'm going to graph this inverse demand equation. We want to get the vertical intercept and the horizontal intercept. The vertical intercept is going to occur when Q is zero. If Q is zero, price equals 120. So if Q is zero, price is 120. To get the horizontal intercept, we set P equal to zero, and you solve for Q. And you're going to get 120 divided by 2, or 60. So this is the graph of the firm's demand curve. Label that D. Next thing we want to graph is the marginal cost function. This marginal cost function doesn't have a vertical intercept. It's going to start at the origin and then proceed in a straight line with a slope of 4. It's going to look something like this. One thing we're going to need to solve for in order to get producer surplus is this intercept right here. Where does the demand curve intersect marginal cost or where does price intersect marginal cost? So to find this value, you just set price equal to marginal cost. So 120 minus 2Q equals 4Q. We're going to solve this for Q. So 6Q equals 120 or Q equals 20. So where price equals marginal cost occurs at 20 units of output. So we wanted to get producer surplus. What is producer surplus? It's going to be this triangle right here. Let me color it in a little bit for us. So this entire triangle right here represents producer surplus. We need to calculate the area of this triangle. So producer surplus, the area of this triangle is going to be 1 half base times height. So 120 minus 0 is just 120. 20 minus 0 is just 20. And so we're going to get $1,200. So that is producer surplus under first degree price discrimination or when a firm practices perfect price discrimination. Notice in this case that there is no consumer surplus. Consumer surplus CS is zero. Okay, there is no consumer surplus. And one other thing, the dead weight loss, DWL, it doesn't exist. This firm is producing the efficient level of output, the level of output corresponding to where price equals marginal cost. So there is no uh, efficiency loss under perfect price discrimination. Okay, let's um, do one more example. A slightly different inverse demand equation and a slightly different cost function. So marginal cost will be given by 20 plus Q in this example. <clears throat> We're going to do the same thing. Let's do a sketch, a graph of both the demand curve and marginal cost curve. 
going to get the vertical and horizontal intercept. If Q is 0, plug in 0 for Q. Price is 100. Set P equal to 0 to solve for Q. Q equals 100. So that's our demand curve. Our marginal cost curve this time is going to start at 20, the vertical intercept, and then it's going to increase in a straight line fashion with a slope of 1. So something like that. And this is, like I said, that's 20, the vertical intercept of marginal cost. So producer surplus is this big triangle right here. As before, we need to get one more dimension of the triangle we need to find this quantity where price equals marginal cost. So subtracting 20 from both sides and then adding Q to both sides. Q equals 40. Plug that 40 right here. Now we've got all the dimensions we need to calculate producer surplus one-half uh, times 100 minus 20 and then that's going to just be times 40 and this equals sixteen hundred dollars of producer surplus. As before with perfect price discrimination there is no consumer surplus there is no deadweight loss we don't have a deadweight loss triangle here the efficient amount of output is being produced under perfect price discrimination. Okay, that's it for perfect price discrimination.